it's the opposite. You become more powerful with the most difficult things because we are sold a crock of lies. We are sold that if you do a 12-week program, you can cure anything, right? And we're sold it by people who look great. And they may have never binged eat before. They may have never been fat. And they're selling me a weight loss program and pressure that it's going to unfold in just 12 weeks. And it makes us believe that anyone that says, I'm just relaxing with how I am, that they're not trying enough. Why aren't you on the program? And I'm like, no, because my program is about love and about being who I am and knowing myself. And through that power of self-knowledge as awareness, it percolates through in its own time and it clears everything into clear seeing. So the binge eating might be the biggest nugget, but my ability to be with people used to be horrendous. I was one of the most argumentative people that I've ever met and my family was like that. That was one thing. Always triggered by every behavior that anybody does, no matter what it is. Thinking people are always trying to get me. I had for a very long time in my life, if someone was just walking towards me, my mind would go, watch out. And it's like, watch out, oh, it's Peter, like a friend. So all that went away, right? Things like complete disorganization allowed me to start maintaining my environment. Little things like just making my bed, keeping my place clean. It just come about through this um, natural clear seeing where things start to become easeful. And this is back to the vampire story that I think most people have heard here now. So, that, so, so, so to, to, to go to the end of that, you don't learn to become a vampire, you get bitten and the qualities begin to appear, right? And that's what this is like. These conversations are being bitten so that these qualities start to appear. When we did the little exercise in the last meeting that we had, there's always this deep meditation that occurs and you can train to do that and I advocate it. So I'm never saying not to meditation, but I'm saying is that if you combine it with this, you will find yourself becoming more meditative or not, right? But the qualities that you seek through, through, through arduous effort begin to appear. F fear of public speaking, gone. Freestyling music in public, gone, right? Everything, relationships, not having a relationship, having a relationship resolves. And then, then just when you think like, wow, I'm indestructible, a big fat pie hits you right in the face that you, that you think is real. And then you fall into the story for a little bit. But while you're tumbling, you're like, you, you, you now know for the rest of your life, which way is up. Right? You know. So you're tumbling through all your emotions and you don't have to be like, oh, it's down there. Oh, it's down. You know. Just let it, as, let it be as it is. And then it just appears again, no matter at what point you fall into it. So your life, so the final thing to answer your question is you keep asking yourself, is this benefiting me? And if it's not, don't do it. And I will add one more thing. One of the confusions that can also come about with this is when, when someone says leave it as it is, you stop doing all the things that are helping you, like study, working out, uh, EFT, especially the ones that get more towards the mind, like seeing your therapist. Oh, I don't see my therapist anymore because I'm awakened. No, I remind people poignantly and powerfully, before awakening, you use a hammer to bang in a nail. And after awakening, you use a hammer to bang in the nail. You don't sit there and go, go in, because go, I'm awake now, go in. You just bang it in. <laughs> right? But the whole thing is, is, is done as, as awareness. So you see your ther therapist as awareness, which gives you more discernment about do you really need to be there or not and how often, right? You go and use um, tools that are effective and you start to select the most effective ones. You might not go to the class anymore that says to you, hold your arm up in the air to find relief of whatever, and you might continue with the one that's really working. So you don't stop your life and get confused because you've suddenly realized everything is awareness. You use that same clarity to discern 
how to conduct your path, free of the goals, free of the suffering, and it becomes just in, in joyful. I haven't stopped any of my goals, but I just love it more. I just love it more.